this lecture we will discuss some more problems on the topic simple interest so the first problem here is after how many years will rupees 5000 give the simple interest of rupees 1400 at 8% rate so let us try to write the solution so the principal amount here is given to be 5000 the simple interest is given to be 1400 the rate is given to be 8 percent and we want to find the number of years so which is in so we will use the formula of simple interest so simple interest is equal to p multiplied by n multiplied by r upon 100 so this means that for simple interest is 1400 this is here so it is 1400 is equal to 5000 multiplied by n which we don't know multiply by r which is 8 upon 100 so this 100 will go and multiply to 1400 so you will get 1400 is equal to 5000 multiplied by n multiplied by 8 and here 1400 multiplied by 100 so now we will divide this 5000 on that side and 8 also on the left side so it will be 1400 multiplied by 100 upon 5000 and 8 will also come on this side which is equal to n now we will use the calculator and find what is n equal to which is number of years so 1400 multiplied by 100 is equal to 140000 divided by 5000 is equal to 28 and again i have to divide by 8 so it is 3.5 so n is equal to 3.5 so we will write 3.5 year what is the meaning of 3.5 years 3.5 years means 3 years and 6 months we will now move to the next question the next question is what sum will give the simple interest of rupees 2400 for 3 years at 8 percent so again it is the same kind of sum so principle is question mark the simple interest given to us is 2400 the number of years n is given to be three years and the rate is eight percent so we will use the same formula simple interest is equal to p into n into r upon 100 so we will get 2400 which is simple interest is equal to p is i i don't know what is p so i will keep p as it is n is 3 r is 8 upon 100 and therefore this will become 2400 into 100 is equal to p into 3 into 8 this 3 and 8 will go and divide to the left hand side so we will get 2400 multiplied by 100 divided by 3 multiplied by 8 that will become the principal p so 2400 multiplied by 100 is equal to 240,000 and I will divide it by 3 which is equal to 80,000 again I will divide it by 8 so it will become 10,000 so the principal will become 10,000 in this problem let us now go to the next problem so we want to find what is the sum if the simple interest is rupees 1600 for eight years so n is eight here at four percent rate so the rate is four percent and simple interest is given to be how much simple interest is 1600 so if i write this simple interest is 1600 the number of years is given to be eight the rate is given to be four percent and what we want to find is we want to find the principal p which is also called as sum 
So sum is also referred to as principal. So we will use the formula for simple interest. Simple interest is equal to P into N into R upon 100. Simple interest is how much? Simple interest is 1600. So I will write 1600 here equal to P we don't know. So P we will write as it is. N is 8. R is 4 upon 100. So now this 100 which you have here, when I bring it to the left hand side, it will multiply 1600. So I will get 1600 multiplied by 100 is equal to P multiplied by 8 multiplied by 4. This 8 and 4 will go and divide on the left hand side. So I will get 1600 multiplied by 100 divided by 8 multiplied by and 4 will also come down. This is equal to P alone. Now we will use the calculator and find what is P equal to. 1600 multiplied by 100 is equal to 160,000. I will divide it by 8 which is equal to 20,000 and again I will divide it by 4 which is equal to 5,000. So the principle is in this problem is P is equal to 5,000 rupees. Let us now go to an objective type of question. So here in this problem, we want to find simple interest of rupees 9,500. So this is the principle given to us at the rate 8%. So rate is 8 and uh, number of years N is equal to how much number of years is N. So we want to find the simple interest. So the formula is very easy. I will quickly do it. SI is equal to P into N into R upon 100, which is equal to 9,500 multiplied by N is 9 years, rate is 8% divided by 100. So 9500 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 is equal to 6,84,000 divided by 100. And that will give me 6840. So it is 6840. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. The next type of objective is slightly complicated. Now we want to find what sum, as you know, what sum means, what should be the principle so that the amount will be equal to how much? So that the amount will be 8280. And all of us know that amount is principal plus simple interest. Now we don't know what is the principal interest itself. So we don't we don't know what is principal. If you don't know what is the principal, then you also don't know what is the simple interest. So this is a slightly complicated problem, but we will handle it using a small trick. And what is the number of years that is given to you? Here the number of years is only six months. So six months means half year. Half year means 0 0.5 years. Half is nothing but 0 0.5. And what is the rate? The rate is 7%. So what should be the principle in this case? Now, if you look at all the options given over here, 9,000, first is 900, second is 8,000, the third is 6,500, and the fourth is 3,400. So if I invest only 900 rupees in a bank for only six months, will I get 8,280 rupees after six months from the bank? So this, our common sense tells us that this is not possible, right? Even if I invest only 3,450 rupees in a bank, will I get after six months, will I be able to get a large amount as 8,280? So again, the our, our common sense tells us that this might not be possible. So the first and the fourth option, I'm not going to pay attention. Now I'm only going to think about the second and the third option. If you look at suppose at the second option, so suppose the money invested is 8000 after six months. Can I get the amount from the bank as 8280? This only we have to check. What is the rate of interest? The rate of interest is 7%. So this is the principle. So principal is 8,000. What is N? N is 0. 0.5. What is the rate? Rate is 7. So what will be the simple interest in this situation? If I, if I just pay attention at 8,000 for the time being. 
so it means that simple interest will be equal to p into n into r upon 100 and what is p p is 8000 n is 0 0.5 multiplied by r is how much r is 7 percent divided by 100 how much does this come up to be in the calculator so 8000 multiplied by 0 0.5 multiplied by 7 is equal to 28,000 divided by 100 so the simple interest is coming to be how much 280 so I will write here 280 year so the simple interest is 280 and therefore what is the amount the formula for amount we have written here the formula for amount is P plus SI which is equal to 8000 plus simple interest is 280 which is exactly coming to be 8280 which is the given amount in the question so this means that the principal p 8000 is actually the correct answer so i will mark it as correct